Hello all you shining stars, welcome to my channel Shining Star Soup. In today's video I'm doing a breaking it down, the one-offs edition, where I rank and rate my subscription boxes I've gotten between April and November of 2019. Now we are halfway through uh, January, or I think we might be into February when I'm uploading this video. You've seen my um, subscription boxes from FabFitFun, BoxyCharm, to Yumi Twins. Just me ranking and rating and reviewing and breaking down my subscription boxes. Now, this video is probably going to be a long one because I did have a lot of one-offs. And what I mean by one-offs are subscription boxes I only got one of or two of, and what I thought about it as a whole, and just um, if I would ever consider getting these, turning these one-offs into an actual subscription. With that said, these are my rankings right here. I do rank my uh, subscription boxes from uh, 5 out of 5, 4 out of 5, 3 out of 5, 2 out of 5, and 1 out of 5 stars. And I do list most of the time uh, the items that I got in the box. Alright, so starting from the most, I guess the most recent. It's a little subscription box called Vixen Clothing. Now, Vixen Clothing is out of Canada, they're based out of Ontario, and I thought it was kind of like Luxury Divas, but for Canadians. Unfortunately, I think I was wrong. I did get, um, they do offer a quarterly subscription box. Um, I got the fall one. Uh, there was a gray and pink striped shirt that was very drab. It was like a shirt you'd go down to Goodwill and find. Uh, pink cardigan, very low quality. Again, just run-of-the-mill cardigan. I didn't enjoy it all. It didn't sit right. It didn't fit right. There was a box of chocolate pocky. <laughs> there was a Christmas tree hat. Who needs an ugly Christmas sweater when you had an ugly Christmas tree hat? I don't even know where that hat went. It just was the ugliest thing I've ever seen. Uh, there was an owl necklace uh, that I did like. Uh, three beaded bracelets. Uh, you got in a pack of airheads, a star notepad, and a lip balm. Now the best item in items in the Vixen clothing was were the star notepad and the pocky. And the worst was pretty much everything else. Uh, all the clothing, like the, the shirt and the cardigan and the hat was just terrible. Um, I guess, all in all, I guess it's not that bad. Um, now, nah, who am I kidding? It was a pretty disappointing uh, subscription box. It was uh, cost me $70 Canadian, and the final rating uh, was uh, 2.5 out of 5. And I made a little note for myself that said they tried. Yeah, I guess they kind of tried. I don't know. They had they gave me Pocky and a star notepad. So maybe they watched my my uh my YouTube channel. I don't know. All I remember was that it was expensive, overpriced, and the clothes were shit quality. I said that word. I said shit. <laughs> it was really bad. Alright, and the next one, um the SUNY pouch. That was about twenty two dollars. I ordered a crate off a of crate joy. It was um, five sheet masks and a single nose strip. Yep, they gave me one nose strip. You know, the kind that you, you put on your nose, peel off, and it's supposed to take off your, your, your uh, blackheads. They gave me one. There was an aqua sheet mask, a charcoal bubble mask. There was an acai berry mask, an aloe vera mask, and a collagen mask. Uh, the best item out of the, the six masks, or well, the five masks that they gave me was the charcoal bubble mask. And the worst was the single nose strip. That box, Suni Pouch, did get a final rating of two out of five. Uh, there was a lot, there was really late shipping on that one. And the value was definitely not there for the cost of the pouch. I just remember being extremely disappointed with the Suni Pouch. Next we have the Glossy Vox Mystery Bundle. These sell out quickly. I don't know why. Maybe it's the appeal of a mystery bundle. <laughs> um, it was like $26 for two Glossy Box mystery boxes. Uh, the first box ended up being from April. There were these little sample sizes of John Masters Organics 
shampoo and conditioner. This stuff dried out my hair something fierce and turned me away from John Masters Organics for the rest of my life. That shampoo and conditioner, I don't know, it was just terrible. All around terrible. There was a pumping lip balm that I think I gave away. An overnight peel, again, another item I gave away. A very tiny Cuddies samples. I don't know how to say that word, moisturizer samples. I was not impressed by those. And then there was a Juice Beauty Cream Shadow Stick that I was expecting to be impressed with, but boy, did that crumble. The tip was all hard. It didn't even go on the eyes. I just ended up tossing that. That is how bad it was. Uh, the best item for the April Glossy Box was none. Not a single item. It was the worst box out of, like, and any subscription box that I've gotten, to be honest with you, and the final rating was 1 out of 5. It didn't even deserve 1 star. Now, luckily for that mystery bundle, the second box was a lot better, and that one was a May box. Uh, there was a daily body scrubber that I was not impressed with. I didn't. I used it once. There was a back to the roots scalp conditioner th treatment thing. I did give that away. Scrunchies. Two of them. I believe, um, I love these. Like, these are awesome. Um, I believe that was a bonus item because when I looked at the spoilers and the previews, they did not have the scrunchies in the May box. So I think they just threw that in as an extra for me. Uh, there was a Pure Leaf Sugar Coffee Scrub. Very tiny. I gave that away. A Pure Leaf Water Balm. Small sample. Not hating on it. A uh, Dewy Glowy Balm, which was a good, it was a deluxe sample size, and that's another melting balm. And um, there was two sheet masks, one was a watermelon, one was a lemon, just the slices. The best item in the box were the scrunchies. The worst item was the daily uh, body scrubber. But I did give box to a final rating of 3 out of 5. The May was so much better than the April box, like just over and above. The next one, my next one off was the Globin. Now, the only reason why I got Globin is I did get a deal on it. I believe there was, like, you could get a box for $10. Again, that was American. And then I had to pay extra for shipping, I believe. It was, like, at least $20. And I did not get the box that I thought I was going to when I ordered back in August. I ended up getting a Maven's box. Uh, there was a woven basket, handmade. There was a single glass, an arrowroot arrowroot, an arrowhead amethyst necklace that was not nickel free and it looked really cheap. And then there was a plate. So my favorite item was the glass and my least favorite item was the basket. Uh, Globin, I understand they're for a good cause. They're supporting artisans uh, from around the world. But it's just not my type of box and it did get a final rating of 2 out of 5. Like, like I said, not really my thing and it, and it is ending up going to my grandmother for a Christmas gift. Alright, next is uh, the Treats Box. The Treats Box being basically a chocolate subscription from Manitoba. It's Canadian. Chocolate bars uh, for I think about $25, maybe $26. I got uh, six, eight, like 12 chocolate bars. Unfortunately, the chocolate bars that they sent me were not that great. There was Nibs Chocolate Candy, a Cadbury Curly Whirly, a Hershey's Bar with Reese Peanut Pieces in it. There was a Crunch Dark Chocolate. Uh, there were these two plastic straws that, yeah, you poured into milk. It was supposed to turn the milk chocolatey. There was something called a sea salt caramel bun. A woohoo milk chocolate bar. If you've ever gone to the dollar store and got, like, Palmer chocolate, really low quality, really gross tasting chocolate, that whole bar was like that. It was terrible. It, ugh, it was just gross. Uh, there was two little squares of chocolate flavored taffy, uh, a Carlston chew that unfortunately tastes like it was expired and dried out, and a hundred grand chocolate bar. Um, the best, my favorite item in the box was one chocolate bar out of 12, and that was the hundred grand. My least one was the milk straws and the woohoo milk chocolate bar that tasted like cheap dollar store chocolate. 
And Treats Box got a rating well deserved of one out of five. Yeah, that was just, that was a disappointing one. All right, now moving on to something that's a little bit nicer out of my one-offs, the Mishi box. I got that in June, it was about $42. I really wanted a subscription, and I think in hindsight it was probably lucky that I didn't get one because their site's been down there since uh, July or August saying they're moving to New York. I don't know if their company went bankrupt or what. I don't think it takes six months to move a company from Japan to New York, but who am I to know? Uh, or Korea or wherever their, um, their office is. Uh, there was an MCC cleansing balm, honestly the best makeup cleanser I've ever tried, and it was a nice size. Now this cleansing balm beat out Bioderm. Uh, Bioderm, I bought um, a cleansing balm that was about like $35, I think. It was expensive, and then there was a Clinique one. MCC cleansing balm, I believe it's made in Korea, totally just topped that, and it was such a nice size. There was an icing bar sheet mask. That was a disappointing item. It was a terrible quality, very thin, dollar store Korean type of sheet mask. There was a liquid serum vitamins uh, that came in like a liquid pouch squeezy bottle kind of thing. I don't even know if I actually used any of those. Uh, Do-it-yourself pill masks. Uh, this was really neat. Um, it came wrapped up and you dropped it in water. You were supposed to add essence or serum to it and it spread out into a mask. Um, the essence, it was actually, like in the book it said, use the essence you got from Maybox on these sheet masks. And it's like, well, why don't you include those ones with the, with the, the essence that you already sent in the box? Or maybe I was supposed to use that liquid serum. I don't know. And then there was a small uh, MCC oil control pink powder, and that works quite well. Think like any kind of powder, uh, press powder. That's what it is. Uh, translucent, no color, and works very well. Uh, my final rating was three and a half out of five for the Mishi box. Um, I did like the cleansing balm. It was a nice size, and the powder was really worked really well. The only thing that brought the average down was uh, the sheet mask and the liquid serum. Yeah. All right. Uh, next one was the Bibbidi Boppity Box Ultimate Edition. Now, earlier in the year, I had gotten the regular Wishes box. I think it was like four or five items. I decided for my birthday, I would go for the Ultimate box. And the Ultimate box was $90 Canadian, so very expensive. I was expecting to be impressed. Unfortunately, I wasn't. Um, there was a Minnie Mouse Lounge Fly kind of duffel bag. Now... Unfortunately, that duffel bag is now sitting in my closet because the zipper broke. It was a very nice size, it was very cute, but now I can't use it until I can figure out what to do with the zipper. Um, yeah. There was a Minnie Mouse metal model that was terrible, like, it, I tried to do it and it just looked weird and... Uh, there were some magnets and stickers. You kind of expect more when you're spending that much for the an ultimate box. And there was a Minnie Mouse t-shirt. It was big, it was white, and it literally had a Minnie Mouse head in shape of a waffle with some bacon strips. A big Minnie Mouse head. Waffle Minnie Mouse head on the back and a little, little icon on, on the corner. What? <laughs> I was like, okay. Um, the final rating for the Bibbidi Bobbidi Box Ultimate was two out of five. Yeah, it was nice to get a lounge fly purse, but honestly, I wish I would have just bought myself a Minnie Mouse lounge fly purse and saved myself like 40 bucks or at least 20. Because man, was that Bibbidi Bobbidi Ultimate Edition box disappointing. All right. Oh, we got we got a few one-offs. All right, and now we're moving on to the mystery box by Bless Box. Now this box was affordable at only twenty six dollars Canadian, and but my biggest complaint about this box were that there was little black squigglies that got black dust over all the products in the box. 
And um, there was an L magazine. There was some vegan hip peas, white cheddar chickpeas. There was a Clarence Lip Comfort Oil that works really well. Uh, Maybelline Mascara, full, full mascara. Um, <laughs> a Dove uh, Exfoliating Polish. Now this polish, it looked like it was a regular size and when I, when I opened it, it was actually just a sample. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Uh, there was a uh, hydrogenation vitamin pills that I just stayed away from. Uh, there was a uh, fashion tape that I gave away. It was supposed to uh, do your bra, bra straps to hide them, I think. Uh, there was a young blood blush. Uh, it was too dark for me. I did give that away, but the blush was apparently worth 40 bucks. There was a Line in Life cleanser, sample size, that worked well. There was a Sunday Riley product on, in there. It was very small, uh, but it was still nice to get. It was an autocorrect eye cream by Sunday Riley. And then there was another Life in Line moisturizer made from stem cells. Strange, but I did use it. And then there was a sleep pillow spray. Uh, my favorite item in the mystery box by Blessed Box was the autocorrect eye cream and the lip, lip comfort oil. And the least was the Dove sample that I thought was full size and the vitamin pills. And my final rating for the mystery box by Blessed Box was four out of five. I actually enjoyed the box and I got a lot of value. It, there was, it was very reasonable for what I paid for the box. I was very happy. I've heard some people talk negatively about Blessed Box. I'm not sure what that deal is, but I really liked it, and I would I wouldn't mind getting it again. Uh huh. Next one was God's Provisions. Now God's Provisions was like a, a kind of a witchy Wiccan theme. Thirty eight dollars Canadian for a very small box. I got a sample pack of two two tea bags. Really? There was a a single stone, I think it was side trade, it was an orange stone. There was an Amazon, an Amazonite bracelet that was apparently charged in Arizona. I can tell you, it didn't make me feel at peace, and there was a plus sign and a minus sign that um, was not nickel free, so even that bracelet gave, because I'm very sensitive to certain metals, and that gave my, yeah, it didn't work well with my skin. There was some wish paper. Wish put three single small squares of tissue paper that you were supposed to light on fire and make a wish. And you were supposed to write on this tissue paper with this little pencil. You can't write on tissue paper with a pencil. I'm like, what were they thinking? There was um, a solar sunscreen moisturizer by Zantac. That wasn't too bad. Uh, there was a sheet mask by Pacifica and a six month uh, moon planner. Uh, the best item was the sunscreen moisturizer, the planner, the bracelet was cute. The worst was the two piece, three pieces of tiny tissue paper. What were they thinking? Uh, final rating, two out of five. I don't even know if that was worth one out of five, but apparently I really, I liked the moisturizer, so that did get a two out of five. All right, <laughs> three more, three more boxes? Yeah. Three more. Uh, Allure Beauty Box. Now, Allure Beauty Box ended up costing me $40, unfortunately, after conversion and shipping. Because Allure was one of those boxes that I had to have shipped to my friend in the States and have my friend ship it back to me. Well, it was uh, 10, $15, or I think I got for $10 American, which like was like $20 Canadian. And then it was $18 for her to ship it to me. The small little bag cost, it came in a box, but it cost like 20 bucks to mail it to me. So like 40 bucks. And their customer service with a Lair Beauty Box is not that great. And it was really hard for me to cancel. I sent them an email and the first thing they told me was that they wouldn't let me cancel until I got my first box. It's like, but I already paid for my first box. So you're obviously sending it to me. Why wouldn't you just let me cancel? I got the runaround, but eventually after I told them I was canceling my credit card, then they finally canceled the box for me. Okay, there was a Way Sculpt and Body Scrub. Uh, I was not impressed. Uh, the grains just got in my hair and uh, it was difficult to shampoo out. It was just a little sample. There was a Bougie or Bougie, um, 
Milk Reparative Leave-In Conditioner. That stuff right there. I really like this product. I wish it was bigger because I only got a sample size. It worked really well for my hair, the leave-in conditioner. There was a tan infused cloth, which was absolutely no value to me. I don't tan and I'm not going to use a cloth to tan. So I give that item away. There was a Natasha Denona eyeshadow. Um... At the time that I got the box, unboxed the box, I had no idea who Natasha Denona was. Now that I've been doing these mystery beauty boxes and getting in the community, I know who Natasha Denona is now. And I'm like, oh, okay, that eyeshadow was worth a pretty penny. It was worth like $32 for a single eyeshadow. And it was a nice gold color. There was also a... Um, an eyeshadow stick that I don't remember using that much. A Lexi small tapered brush, which was a very good eyeshadow brush. And a mini Nubian Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette, which I ended up really liking. Uh, so my favorite products were the, uh, the eyeshadows, the Lexi brush, and leave-in conditioner. The least was the Way uh, scalp and body scrub and the tan infused cloths. Um, again, Allure did get a 3 out of 5 rating. It was a great bag, but unfortunately, it is a hassle, you know, to have to send it to my friend and have my friend ship it to me. I mean, it's a hassle for me, it's a hassle for her, so, uh, but still a 3 out of 5 for Allure. I wish they would ship to Canada. And, uh, Target Beauty Box. Oh, how I hated and loathe that box. Again, it was another $40 box. Um, you can order Target Beauty Box, but they're going to charge you $35 American to ship it to Canada, which in retrospect um, is pretty much what I paid anyway, having my friend ship it to me. So, yeah. But anyway, the Target Beauty Box had a sample Garnier facial mist. There was literally, that sample was like 5 mils. There was two sprays, but it was nice. There was a native deodorant sample size. Um, I always wanted to try native deodorant, so that was the one main reason why I got the Target Beauty Box. There was a Method Pony body wash. Uh, I enjoyed it. I still have a bunch of it. That was a decent size. Uh, Moisturizer Garnier, a sample packet, and there was a Pixie Toner, tiny little sample. That was nice. It was a rose, rose tonic. Uh, the best item was the body wash, again, because it was the only item in the box that was a decent size. And Target Beauty Box, easy, one out of five. It was so much money for such tiny samples, and at least Ipsy gives deluxe size samples for $30 less. Just throwing that out there. All right. Oh, I got, uh, I got two more boxes. Uh, the next one that I felt like... Um, mentioning here was the mask maven premium edition for spring i haven't seen and i've been watching i haven't seen them come out with like summer or winter or anything like that but this box cost me 22 dollars, so it was the same price as the suny pouch but there were 15 masks in this box compared to the the five and the little single nose strip i got from the suny pouch uh there was a girls on period mask Yep, there was that mask in there, a bubble tea mask that unfortunately didn't bubble, it was just called bubble tea. There was a foot care mask, um, it was moisturizing, not peeling, those were really nice. There was a bubble O2 mask that worked better than those glam glow masks. An egg white sheet mask, a milk sheet mask that I used just the other day, it was really nice. A bare black eye mask. Um, it looked like a butterfly. That was adorable. A uh, kiwi slices to put weight on the eyes. A uh, pomegranate sheet mask. A uh, healing bird mask. There was two different healing bird masks. Uh, a coconut one and a jo jo joba one. However you say that. Healing bird makes really great masks. Like I went as far as to try to look online to order these uh, sheet masks, but they're all from the states. Uh, there was an Annie's Way seaweed sheet mask, a pearl essence mask, that, that one was terrible, and an av avocado oil mask that was like a deluxe mask, and that was nice. Uh, my favorite items were the bubble mask, the one that actually bubbled, uh, the foot mask that was moisturizing, and the two healing bird masks, great sheet masks, and the least was the bubble tea that didn't bubble, and the pearl essence mask. But... My final rating for the Mask Maven Premium Edition, 
four out of five. If I saw a summer or winter, heck, I, I would want to be on that. All right, now for my last of my one-offs, which is good because we're at 25 minutes and I'm out of breath. <laughs> just, just saying. All right, uh, the Bibbidi Bobbidi Box, the original one, the the wishes one, the first one I ordered. Um, I paid, I think, $60 for this box, and it turned out to be a better box than the ultimate one that I paid uh, $30 extra for. Uh, in the original one, there was a clap, cat plushie from Big Hero 6. That thing's cute, and that thing's big. Love it, no complaints. Uh, there was some goofy gummies. I love those gummies. Uh, there was this tub frosting that was actually, it looked like frosting, but it goes in the bathtub and goes on your skin, makes your skin all soft. Uh, Alice in Wonderland theme, I think it was. That actually turned out to be really nice. I was happy with that. Uh, I got a cat's and dog's landlord, landlord, and uh, a cat from Pinocchio Pin. I don't know his name. Jalapo or Jalapo or something like that. A tiny cat pin. Uh, my favorite item, everything in that box I enjoyed and it did get a final rating of 4 out of 5. The price was expensive but I did enjoy the box. Alright, so to sum it up, sum up all my one-offs. I'm going to give you the best and the worst. And I'm going to list it here. Uh, the best boxes for my one-offs, Mishi Box, the Bless Box Mystery Box, the Allure Beauty Box, the Mask Maven Premium Spring Box, and the regular Bibbidi Boppity Box. So out of all those boxes, there were only five boxes I really enjoyed. Worst off, there was a lot more. <laughs> Vixen Clothing, Suni Pouch, Glossy Box Mystery Bundle, The Glow Bin, The Treats Box, The Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo Ultimate Edition, Gauze Provisions, and the Target Box. Junk, waste of money. Like, if I could go back, which I can't, I would not have even bothered with those boxes. Uh, the best items, Minnie Mouse Purse. Uh, that one's neither here or there because the zipper broke. The MCC cleansing bomb that completely changed my mind about cleansing bombs. Uh, worst items, the gray and pink shirt, the pink cardigan, and the Christmas tree hat from Vixen Clothing. The woohoo chocolate bar from the treats box. The single nose strip from the uh, uh, SUNY pouch. And all the items in the glossy mystery box in April. The May box wasn't that bad, but the April one was just not. All right, well, all you shining stars, that's my breaking it down, the one-offs. Thank you for uh, tuning in and staying for a whole half hour with me. And I hope all you shining stars have a shining star day and keep being shining stars. Bye!